It's a lovely spring day here at Stowe Hill, and here comes a lovely boat. She's called Belmont. She's a 60-foot semi-traditional stern built in 2004 by Liverpool Boats. I've got a real thing for this boat. She's got some real personality and charm. You'll see as we go through. She was black just a year ago in April 2019. The engine was serviced at the same time, and there was a hull survey conducted as well. That is available for viewing in the office. Paintwork's in reasonable condition. She handles nicely. Two 13 kilo gas bottles are in that forward locker. It's a lovely well deck. We'll see that when we go through the boat. There's a cratch cover over that well deck. Nice leaded glass windows at the top, the hoppers. And she's reverse layout. You'll see as I go through. And onto the boat we go. Good sized stern deck. Seven feet six include in the semi trad area. The engine's under there, that's a Barrashire 45, just over 2,000 hours on that. Those deck boards are in need of a bit of attention. The view from the helmsman's position, and down into the boat we go. There's a cupboard just here on the left, the various fuse switches in. The tank for the pump out toilet is under there. And into the galley. Generously proportioned, nearly 12 feet long, 11 foot 10 inches. There's a dining table on the starboard side. And work surfaces and utilities on the port side. Here's the fridge, that's a shoreline 12 volt with a nice box. Over that is a microwave and cupboard above that. Under the sink, the usual Offerings of storage space, good sized cupboard there. There's a drawer for cutlery or whatever you like, and the cupboard underneath that. The washing machine is next to that, it's a Beko. I'll just show you the nice woodwork over the kitchen counter here. There's the Beko washing machine, and next to that is the Statesman oven and grill and four burner gas hob. Some very good sized storage cupboards next to the cooker, above it and below. There's a side hatch just here. And a radiator there. There's four radiators on board. The central heating is a Makuni diesel fired system. Oh, six radiators actually, I'll tell a lie. There's the side hatch. And into the saloon. Lovely room this, 12 foot 6 inches long. The stove is a premium multi-fuel stove and oven, you can cook on that. There's a television there in the corner. It's a 23 inch Bravia, cupboard above that. Here's a stove, lovely thing. You used to have ones very similar, you used to put casseroles in on a winter's day and nothing like it. Two armchairs in here, you could easily put a sofa bed in here if you so wished. And a couple of cupboards. At the forward end, shelves over. Nice wall lights in here. Really, really cosy boat. This head height six foot four inches. Another radiator, and on into the bathroom on the port side. A lovely sink there. That's ceramic. Cupboards over. Couple of loos, a brace of bogs if you like. One's a pump out and the other's an emergency Thetford Porter Potty. Nice shower cubicle. Forgot to take that bucket out, excuse that. And a dressing mirror on the inside of the door. And here we go, this is really different. The bedroom. Nice sort of dressing area here. There's a mirror with shelves underneath. And the bedroom itself, the, the bed sits in the middle of the boat. There's access up each side. The water tank is under the bed. It's a huge water tank. I don't know the capacity, but it's large. Another radiator in here. At the foot of the bed, a television on the door there. And a DVD over on the ceiling. Very good sized wardrobe. There's a lot of storage in this boat. Another large cupboard here. And bank of three drawers underneath that. Good size, they're quite deep actually. 
So yes, the bed's lovely. It's an unusual arrangement. The bed itself is 6 foot 4 inches long by 4 feet wide. And at the head end of the bed, either side of the boat, is a floor to ceiling wardrobe. There's the other one. And out onto the well deck. Storage lockers either side. Underneath this well deck is entirely storage space accessed from the, the doors there. It's a huge area that you can put things. Go down the other side here just to prove that I can. And we'll have another walk back through the boat. There's another wardrobe just around this corner that I didn't show you. Just here. Or cupboard rather than a wardrobe. So there's, there's so much storage. Hot water on board is sourced via either the engine or the central heating system. There's a generator on board, a mace generator. There's landline hookup for 230 volts as well. And there are three domestic batteries and one starter, all 105 amp power. Really cosy, lovely boat. The storage locker on the port side of this semi tribe deck. So there we go, lovely boat. She's called Belmont. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure on the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.